For more information, please visit our website at darkcyberranch.com. This is Dark Cyberranch 101 C++ Programming. Follow along with our free course documentation. In this video, we'll quickly discuss some other concepts such as the infinite loop. This loop runs forever because there is no terminating condition. And also, to control this loop, we need something like a sentinel value. A sentinel value is sometimes a numeric number. And this value is used to terminate the different stages of a loop. In this video, we will discuss the algorithm called the bubble sort algorithm, one of the most basic algorithms discussed in many courses in computer science. The bubble sort algorithm um, compares the neighboring adjacent element to the other element. If those elements, if one element is smaller than the other one, the i or j plus one, we swap the values in an iterative loop based fashion. So over to the code blocks compiler. Here in this um, example program, we have a, the bubble sort algorithm where we use the keyword auto, and we use this to assign several values the same value of what zero. In C plus plus, we need the first value, well, any uninitialized variable, to be set to zero. Here we have an array structuring, and for each array element, we've a one-dimensional array. We've given them uh, some values, and we have this boolean at the top to differentiate the stage of the algorithm. Okay, over to this doubly nested for loop. Here we have a for loop which goes and you used to use a semicolon and here we have here in the swapping portion we use the temporary value and we pass it to a number and we make a copy and we pass it to the other guy. Alright, so, and here we um, increase the steps and here we have a, a printout function which tells us the values for our algorithm. Right, we just need to iterate over a one-dimensional array to print out the values for the length of the array, which was k. So you know the length of the length of the array was nine, and we just need to iterate until we traverse all the elements of this array, starting at i, which was zero. Simple enough. And we use the inline uh, keyword here to make a line per value. And here we have um, a certain part we, which we can add to another portion of the program if you wanted to, to keep track of the number of steps or passes we needed for the algorithm. If this was inserted into the right portion, we could um, increment this um, step counter and use it. So here, when we built the program, you will see at the bottom there's some information, and it will just go through the, the value and swap values until we put it into the ascending or descending order based on the letter then the less than greater two syllable. But here we have a problem here in the number of steps because it's outside the loop of the program and it gives us some arbitrary number stored in the value of steps because or whatever. Alright, so over down to the program we look at certain parts of the program and we can use a different form of comments to comment off parts of the program. Here we use the while loop here and if we have no terminating condition inside the while loop or if we um, set no condition for returning the uh, boolean sentinel value we would, this program would, uh, would terminate just because um, the, the algorithm was completed but if we did not have this um, portion here in the center that, that had some kind of condition which was completed the program would run infinitely and we call this an infinite loop because the iterations of, of the algorithm could go you know until the memory ran out on the computer which is not really so re no, decent, of course, right? So we test the program here, it runs fine, and once we comment off out these areas after the while loop, after this unsorted Boolean value, and um, here, this for loop, we want to add the other type of comment where we have one slash and the um, asterisk, and this will make a block of code. This is also good for debugging. And we want it to put it below the well, the while loop structure, where the you know here we have to make spaces. Okay, let's put it here. Maybe. And okay. And maybe we can comment this off too. And once once we build the program and run the program again we will get a black screen because it's stuck in the um, conditional loop phase. So when we test this, we press the, the run button here, 
we get nothing. And for more information, please visit our website at darkcybernetics.com.